Now for the final link list implementation, I'm going to show you how to sort your link list, which is super, super interesting. So for this one, I'll just sort a single link list because the process for a double one is the same. First, I create my sorted link list, which extend link list, and we will only override the insert method. This one takes an optional sorting function. And in the constructor, we check if none is provided or if it is not a function and we set a default one. If you ever work with JavaScript erase sort method, this will feel very, very similar. So the function is called with the A and B element. And if they are the same, we return zero. If A is greater than B, we return one, otherwise return negative one. Very simple. Before we continue, let me break it down for you. Let's say I insert one, then it will be the first item. Then I insert three. So I start counting index from zero as I go through the list. So index zero element one, if three is greater than one, I'll proceed to the next index. In this case, one. Since there is no more item, I insert at index one, the last index I was at. Next, I try to insert two. So two is greater than one, so I proceed to index one, which is where three is. Since two is not greater than three, I quit. And the index when I quit is one. So that means two must go at index one, right before three. And that's the logic for the sorting. It is like bubble sort on insertion. Now let's code this. The first thing I do is collect head as current, set my I for index and create my for loop while I is less than size. In size, I put a current with next and at the end I return I. In here, I'll call my sorting function passing the element and current element. And all I do is check if the result is negative one. And if so, I'll quit the loop by returning the current index and that's all to it. I want to do another change, so I'll also check if result is false as well, and I'll show you why. Now I can implement my insert method, which only takes an element, no longer index, and I have to remove the push method since the idea of adding an element to the end of a sorted list does not make any sense. Inside, if the list is empty, I'll call insert method in the linked list with super and pass the element. By default, the index will be zero. Otherwise, I'll get the index by passing my element and then call the insert on super and pass the element and index. Just like that, we have our sorted link list. Now, I'll instantiate this and print, and I'll add some random numbers. And as we see, they are sorted in ascending order. I can also provide my method, and I simply return if A is less than B, and I will sort them in descending order. And that's all because of that false I added there. Passing a sorting callback can be useful for objects. So I create a list of objects with age. I can use it for proper checks instead of default strict equal. All set now. You should feel confident in your linked list knowledge now after watching this linked list series. With that, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.